How's everybody doing out there? I want to bring you another beautiful message. I want to bring you a powerful message. This is going to be a special message for you. Just to an encouraging message to let you know that if Jesus Christ had not did what he done, if not for Jesus Christ, God was done with humanity. So rejoice in the fact that Jesus Christ came down to earth in the time that he did and made the sacrifice. Yeshua, also known as Jesus Christ, name um, pronounced Yeshua or Yeshua. This was the chosen vessel of the Lord, of God, the living God chose this vessel. He before time, he already knew that this was going to happen. You know, God is everywhere in time. God, like if you know, you're looking at stuff, um, Dr. Strange, multiverse, God's everywhere. God's in all points of time. And he chose this, um, this being as a vessel to come down to be able to be a, a living sacrifice for humanity. Because without the shedding of blood, of innocent blood, the living appeasing to the Lord, the living sacrifice, without that, he was done with humanity. You got to understand about God. Like God wants to do certain things, but there are certain things that God can't. There are certain things God has to do to operate within his holy parameter. You can't see God do things outside of his parameter. You know what I'm saying? So there's something significant with the, the you notice with me, we know that it's something significant with the shedding of blood because this was done um, in the Old Testament. That's why I, I pose the question to people to be like, if not for Jesus Christ, then what? If not for Jesus Christ, man, then you, your all of the the God, all of the talk, the history of God, then what what is he doing? Like it would be a big missing piece of God's operations. And I'll use Islam for an example. You have or no, I use let's just use Judaism. You have in Judaism, we have we know that God called for the sacrifice of of animals, uh, animal blood, innocent blood. He, he called for the sacrifice for the atonement of sins. You wouldn't have to do that if the world wasn't lost and operating in full sin, in full sin autonomy. So God gives you consequences for that. The consequence is you had to shed that in that animal blood and and that do and do that um as a ritual and for atonement to make atonement to show to the Lord you it's not just about saying I'm sorry and doing all this because you know that when you say you sorry to someone you don't if a person could do if they still doing the same thing to you you're not going to accept that apology so what Jesus Christ did his sacrifice came and solidified the atonement for sins for the world so there is no there has to be no there does there is no more need for the shedding of animal blood and things of that nature but without that you should still be at the altar shedding sheep's blood without god there is no explanation for that jump other than you know people just don't want to believe in jesus christ so now that takes i'm just talking to believers like for of those in judaism islam those of the of the believers Jesus Christ was the only solution for humanity. Otherwise, it was done. You could just cut this part. You you can cut when uh, God ended, when God was getting ready to. Um, you can just cut this part. In the, it's a part in the Bible, like cut the part at the New Testament. You can just cut it there. Cut the New Testament part and then God has basically no more operations upon the earth you understand or people or everyone who's died from that point was instantly going to hell everyone no one has any hope everyone instantly is going to hell because there is no perfect people here don't you understand do you see the logic this is for spiritual believers now if you're not a believer without jesus christ you wouldn't even be here 
without Jesus, you wouldn't be here to disagree, agree, or anything. God would have ended the world where he ended it. Y'all, see, we just here in this generation and in this time, in this point of time, we don't even have knowledge of of a thousand we we don't have knowledge of, of of a thousand years ago like for like of how people were really operating what was going on you know and people have so we're so it, it's just you on people are only arrogant just in their generation you could be arrogant for the time you hear then you gone and then you know the earth be totally different so it's like and, and people believe something to, and people are, are have different philosophies at that time so it's never I never listen to human beings like just to, to indefinitely try to tell you something about how the inner workings of the earth and the inner workings of of uh, human um, life and spirituality and things like that. So I always say, man, if you're not spiritual, you're missing like a big a big chunk of your knowledge, like of knowledge of life and a knowledge of the way of how things operate. Cause we now know that energy is eternal. The energy that's in you, it doesn't die. That's your spirit. We can, and, and people on the earth, like I said, can only classify scientists and doctors. They only classify what God has created and what he's done. They can only try to explain it, what they see. You understand? So God, they, they find out it's eternal energy now in you and, and they don't know what, they not gonna call it a spirit. That's not what they are gonna say. Cause that's not their belief system they're in a part of a belief system also but it don't matter what what you believe without jesus christ you know this earth wouldn't even be here human beings would be gone human beings would be destroyed they wouldn't have the earth wouldn't you wouldn't see no animals wouldn't be no harmony here wouldn't be no nothing you know human being the the sun probably would have the sun, it probably would have been something. The sun got too close, burned the whole earth up. <laughs> Real talk. I'm not kidding. You know, asteroid just come right off its trajectory. Boom. You know, the in Revelation, the asteroid Wormwood. We see scientists saying that asteroids are coming. I mean, there is an asteroid scheduled to be coming to the earth. Or at least getting close to it. So these things, it's with only through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, giving his holy life, were you giving grace, us as believers today, giving grace to be able to have a chance to get into the kingdom of heaven and not just be discarded, like I said, in, into hell in the lower parts of the earth and not have God be just totally done with us. Jesus Christ gives you the ability to be able to speak to God gives you the ability to be able to be like God. He gives you the ability because the Holy Spirit enters you. Jesus was the example of a human being on earth. None of us will ever be able to achieve that. We're not going to be able to achieve that type of perfection, but that example we can follow. We see that, you know, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ throughout this book, he been afflicted with all human things. His mama trying to get on his case <laughs> from all from the smallest thing. And he still remained on his on his father's purpose. That's what we need to think like. We need to do that. And through all these little hang-ups and stuff and crap in life, man, we need to stay focused on our father's purpose. You understand? Men and women. And that's what he died for. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6, he said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. And from henceforth, ye know him and have seen him. Jesus Christ is saying, if you see me, you've seen the father. My character is the character of the God in heaven. That's his character. That's how you need to get a, when you say get a relationship with Jesus, get a relationship with God. When you say get you a relationship with the most high God, we not talk about on trivial terms. You know what a relationship is. Like think about your relationship with your mother. Think about your relationship with your father. For, for those who have them in their life Think about your relationship with your son With your son That's the relationship with God we're talking about That's how it is I hear from God I hear from G I speak to Jesus man Yes I know how to tune the frequency I'm not talking about just me talking I'm not talking about just me talking to myself Me just you know or me just walking around You, you know 
<laughs> having a you know having a toy and and thinking that this is you know make playing pretend no a relationship that wouldn't sustain itself i'm gonna just keep it real like if you just grab your that's like a kid have you know or that's just like you walk around with a with a, a blow-up doll or something like that or you know a, a rubber doll and you just saying that this is my 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 friend you know that relationship is not gonna sustain itself because it's because that's not real that's never going to talk back to you. It's never going to give you the reci re reciprocity that you're looking for, ever. But it's telling you right now in the book of John, it said, Jesus said, I am the way, the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. You can't come no other way. That's what he's saying. You can, you know, you can try to talk to God. You can do all the things you do, but you can't come to God. You can't be part. You can't develop that father-son relationship with God, father-daughter relationship with God, unless you come through Jesus Christ. And that's what's needed to save your soul. That relationship that keeps teaching you, correcting you, convicting you when the pastor gone, when the pastor, I know when the, when the imam ain't around. When the when the when the rabbi not around, the spirit is convicting you, teaching you. God is teaching you. Put His hand on your shoulder in your situations, intricately in your intricately in your life, in your situations. Yes, you need that. Without Jesus Christ, we wouldn't have that. We look in the we know in the from um, the story of Noah, we see what God did. We see what God did to Sodom and Gomorrah. God officially glassed, like, just killed the whole planet. And he kept certain people. In Sodom and Gomorrah, God got rid of a whole city, kept certain people. The earth was on schedule again for destruction. Yes. On schedule for destruction. If it were not for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. God saw fit to stop the destruction of the earth. His own stopped his own hand. God's left hand stopped his right. God literally listen to me. His left hand stopped his right. He said, "Look, I want to give people like myself grace. I, I see Nick down. I see Nick in 2020. I see him and he need he gonna need he gonna need me in 2020. You know." I see, I see that he gonna be doing great things for my kingdom. I see Tiario, I see Pastor Gino, I see, you know, I see Billy Graham. They gonna do great things for my kingdom. They, I'm, they not all corrupt. Not everybody's corrupt. What I wanna do is say is give him some more grace. I'm gonna send you, my son, down here now. I, I have you on the. I, I knew you. I had to send you to the earth, but I'm gonna send you now, right now. And he sent him now. Jesus Christ came down. And he did exactly what he was supposed to do. We killed him. You know how human beings, this human beings killed the living God. Yes, you were the one to set your, to have a hand in your own salvation. The wicked had a hand in their own salvation. This is how ironic God, this is how God loves irony. The wicked was the ones who set they own salvation free. Shed the blood of Jesus Christ, of the living God. Once the blood was released, God gave his, um, Christ gave his spirit back up. He allowed his spirit to be released. God, it's, if you read in the Bible, it said God gave up his spirit. Jesus Christ, it says Jesus Christ gave up his spirit. So the portion, just a man, and that's only a portion of God's spirit. God is every, like, that. that's a being, an entity of immense power. It's only a portion of him, of his spirit. The human portion that Jesus Christ, that the portion of his spirit that he poured and put into the human vessel, which is the same portion that's in you, is some of it's in you, some of it's in your mother, that's allowing you to breathe that same portion. He took it back. He took it. He went back to Jesus Christ. So he went back to heaven. Now God operates in his full power now. Now Jesus Christ, God, and God are one again, and He's operating in His full power, and His full, and He's pardoned you. He gave you a pardon, all of us. He gave us a love sacrifice. He pardoned us, pardoned us from our sins, pardoned us from when we going out here getting drunk, 
Partners when we going out here uh, not forgiving our neighbor. Partners when we going out here back t back talking to our mama and daddy. You know what I'm saying? Who who ain't done nothing but sacrifice for us. Partners when we going out here, uh, you know, smoking cigarettes, smoking, you know, getting uh get smashed on these pills and drinking drinking lean and taking dr pharmaceutical drugs. He part pardon us when we out here, you know, don't want to listen to him. Jesus Christ is giving you grace and a pardon. I mean, God is caused, is allowed that Jesus Christ to sacrifice himself to allow that to happen. God has allowed these things. Now, what you, what are you going to do with it? This is where we end this. What, what are you going to do with that? What decision are you going to make with, with the choice that God is giving you? The, what, the time that God is giving you? The grace that God is giving you? What are you going to do with that? Because you didn't earn it. You didn't earn that. You you know you didn't earn a place here like God to to be had to have peace here like you didn't earn that. God could have just gone ahead and ended this world and just sent all you know just sent all the the, the wicked the soul your 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 mother your great grandmother your great friend from all them to hell just sent them to hell sent them to the lower parts of the earth said I'm and moved his spirit away said I'm done I don't want to deal with humans no more. I don't want to deal with y'all. He could have did that. But no, he gave the perfect sacrifice. He sacrificed himself. You get that? God put himself down here. He don't, he don't operate the way we operate by far, but he compartmentalized himself, dressed himself in a human vessel to be able to feel what human beings felt. Feel how we feel. See how we see things. Experience how we experience. And he still remained God. Still have kept his character. Helped everybody. Helped everybody who he could. Gave us the example we needed. And what are you going to do with it? You want to follow everyone else except Jesus. You want to follow, follow a dude, um, a mentor, a life coach. Uh, no, this is the best life coach you could ever have. This is the author of life for human beings here. Follow God, man. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and end this video. Peace and blessings to the hearers and doers of the Lord's word. Man, just I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day, man. And her peace and blessings so again to the hearers and doers of the Lord's word and those who are sealed in Jesus Christ. Special shout out to y'all. I'm gone.